And now it's time for Gildan to attempt to do an introduction, but he doesn't know how to without stumbling over his own words. So we're just gonna move along and just say, hey everybody, it's it's like that rambling vlog thing that he does, and so yeah, um, I don't know why I'm talking in the third person, I guess it just helps me cope with trying to move things along. So I'm rolling with it. Otherwise, how y'all doing? I hope good! Although, I mean, you can... You Feel anything that you want. Emotions are a very confusing thing. Even as an adult, I still don't quite understand my own. It, it can be very problematic. I had a fight with a friend earlier this week because of that. Uh, and it was really stupid because I mainly did it to myself. And I apologize. Oh man. All this said, I'm doing pretty well today. I cannot lie. Also, I reconciled with that friend, so we're all good. We're all good. I didn't want to cause any panic amongst any of yous. Cause, I mean, that would be bad on so many levels. Oh man, did I just make it awkward? Trust me, I'll get a lot more awkward, so, uh, don't, don't get weirded out yet. We've only just begun. I got like half an hour to fill. I got a quota to fill. All y'alls are just here listening to me go on about nothing yet. Cause I haven't even started the part, even though I technically did. Uh, so, moving on. I'm gonna start off by saying I got like 13,000 messages today on the Facebook because, I mean, turns out that somebody decided to do the doppelganger thing where they were pretending to be Gildam Warrior, but they weren't Gildam Warrior because uh, I'm Gildam Warrior. Or that's what I keep telling myself, you know, I'm the OG Gildam Warrior. I'm the, I'm the original. Or so I like to believe. Who knows? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm a. Maybe I'm also a doppel. Maybe I'm really not the Gildum. Although that is regardless. You see, someone decided that they would like make a profile on the book face pretending to be me, and then they were like <clears throat> hitting up a bunch of my friends, being like, "Hey, it's a me, a Gildum Warrior." And by Gildan Warrior, I mean they were really just using my name, Mike Jensen, because uh, that's my name. Mm. But they were like all like, hey, it's a me, Gildan Warrior. I deleted you by accident or something, please add me. And it wasn't because my account was all up and running and not deleting it like anybody. Everyone was still my friends. And so my stepsis, she was the first one that noticed and she like messaged me and she's like, uh, there's there's like a faker pretending to be you. Uh, I reported them. So, you know, I uh, just thought you should know. And she sent me a picture and I was like, with WTF, what the hell? I don't believe this happened. <clears throat> And that was super lame. And then, like, you know, nine other people just, like, messaged me after that saying the same thing. And I had to tell them, I know. I had to be nice about it, too, because, you know, <clears throat> if they were first, you know, they thought they were the first one to let me know. And so I had to be nice. Of course, that kind of thing annoys me because it's like once you explain it to one person, of course, you got to explain it to everyone else. <clears throat> and it's not their fault, you know, if it was if, if it was them, they'd like to have the same thing. You know, someone like let them know, be like, "Hey, this is going on." Yeah, you should. You should probably think about a couple things, some preventions. Maybe go into your your settings, your security settings, and like change a couple things. Maybe a profile picture, which I did. I changed my profile picture to my real face, and it's super lame because uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'm really all that good looking, but I've been getting a lot of compliments, which I think is more in terms of irony. But uh, some of you might be like, hey, "Yo, Gildum, can can I get can I get a face shot or something?" Uh, no one's probably asking that, and that's fine. But I'm I'm gonna do it anyway. So uh, for reference, I liked my original picture. Which, you know, it was this. It was from that one scene in Aladdin. Disney's Aladdin, you know. If I get copyright claim for that, I'm, I apologize. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, but it was that one scene with Jafar where he was like an old codger. And it, it's fantastic and it's great and I like this. It was my profile picture. It was fantastic. Now it's this. My own face. It's really stupid and not that interesting. But I like the hat, you know. It's one of those newsboy caps. 
Uh, I wear it backwards because I like to think I'm cool. You know, I keep telling myself that, even though it has the opposite effect. Uh, I digress. You know, that's what I do. Also, that's my weekend hat because I have a weekend hat. <laughs> I have an every day hat, you know, an every a weekday hat that I use and I wear it to work, and it's it's fine for that regard. But uh, I I like my weekend hat. You know, I look forward to wearing that thing because it's like it's the weekend. It's my time off. I can chill and wear this hat, and it makes me feel good about myself. Happy days. <laughs> Anyways, all this said. I don't really know where I'm going with this other than I hate the fact that I had a doppelganger trying to be myself and I had to change a bunch of things. I mean, sure, it, it's not like super inconvenient for me considering, you know, I, I, I'm here on the YouTubes oftentimes just let's playing and doing the video game things because that's my hobby and outside that I got work and stuff. And, you know, I'm trying to sleep while this is going on. I'm in bed and everything, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like starting to doze off because uh, that's what happens when I'm about to go to sleep. I don't know if that's how it is for everybody, but that's how it is for me. And so, you know, I'm doing that, and then all of a sudden I get messaged, and it's like, oh man, come on, man, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to sleep. Granted, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning, but for me, that's like 8 o'clock. No, no. I, I gotta normalize this. Uh, eight is not like when I would go to bed if it was nighttime. It's like ten o'clock. It's like, it, or very close to ten o'clock at night for me. If I was trying to like put this into normal, like uh, normal settings for everyone else, or maybe nine o'clock. You know, somewhere around that, like bedtime. It's my bedtime. It's Gilm's bedtime. He works nights, so naturally it's bedtime took my shower and everything it's it's bedtime ate my dinner it's bedtime uh yeah you know it's like i'm trying to go sleep all of a sudden like doppels hitting up everyone being like oh yo i, I stuff add me and it's like no uh, come on man I'm trying to go to sleep They're interrupting my sleeping schedule i'm trying to dream about oh god i don't even remember i think there was a train i think i dreamt about a train and some sort of hold up or something it was like final fantasy 7 uh you you take which train scene you want from 7 there there was a lot of train scenes in fact there's a lot of trains in 7 i i don't know why that, that's weird i i didn't realize how many trains there was in 7 until just now because you got like you got like the opening scene with the train, and then you got like that one scene with Barrett, like where you have to get the huge material with the train, and before that you got like the train graveyard, and um, actually that might be it. Now, I'm sure there's another one that I'm, I fail to remember, so uh, don't don't hate me too hard, because I can't remember everything about Seven off the top of my head, even though I should, because it's like my favorite Final Fantasy out of all the Final Fantasies, and I don't know everyone's like way to be stereotypical, killed him. Like, you and, like, 7,000 million people across the world love Final Fantasy VII. But, uh, I, I digress, because I'm willing to bet there are a lot of people who don't like Final Fantasy VII. And there's a lot of people who like Final Fantasy VII, but it's not their favorite, you know, because there's, there's six. <clears throat> there's, like, four, which I would think is a, is a popular one. There's eight. Which I know, like, there's at least a small group of people that like that one. Although, God, God be it for me saying that's the best one, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of 8. I do like Squall outside his game, because I think they ha give him a, a sort of cocky personality that I kind of dig. And uh, I, I think he's, like, super competent outside that, and he's not whining all the time, because, I don't know, it was, it was a little apathetic in 8, where he's just, like, kind of complaining about it, if... Uh, like stuff and not like being a team player and uh if you don't expect anything bad uh or no wait 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 if you don't expect anything good nothing bad will happen that's it that is the saying so you know he, he had kind of a downer attitude or at least he kind of had that portrayal like throughout the game or it felt like it anyways and i didn't really care too much about it also something that i don't like about eight it overshadowed this other game that came out roughly around the same time called legend of legend of lagaya <laughs> give me a second i have to clear my throat 
All right. Yeah. He, like, Final Fantasy VIII overshadowed Legend of the Gaia, and it was super stupid, because I think Legend of the Gaia was a great game, and it should have gotten a lot more notoriety and popularity. And unfortunately, it's a lot more inconvenient to play these days, because uh, you need a PlayStation 1 and the disc in order to play it. <clears throat> Although I have heard that, you know, it might be possible to play that game on a regular PS2, the big brick VCR looking PS2, the bulky one. I hear it's possible. I don't know if it is. I haven't tried it out, but I might at some point when I decide to let's play it and I want to. I've said this before in a previous part, but you know, I guess it's irrelevant. It's not important. It's not what we got going on. What we got going on now is, uh, man, I lost track of everything I was going to say. I, I just got so sidetracked that now I'm I'm actually now I got to segue into a different topic. So you know what? I got one. I know what I can segue into gardening, because uh, you know Gildum Gildum's got a little bit of a hard on for gardening right now. You know it's like his thing that he's kind of into, and you know I'm still doing it and I've learned some things. I'm not gonna try to like take up a lot of time talking about gardening because even though I can. I don't think there's much of a point. Also, you know, Plants vs. Zombies gardening, I mean, gotta talk about it, right? So I'm gonna try to keep this a little shorter because, uh, again, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Although, I will say I've learned a couple things, like spinach. So, you know, here I am thinking, like, spinach is a pretty typical plant, you know, it, it has lush leaves, you eat them, and, and it's fantastic, and I like cooking with spinach, but I like eating it on its own, it's fine, it has good texture, it tastes great, I like spinach, Popeye's my idol. <laughs> so, something I didn't know is that apparently in plant reproduction, uh, there is another factor that comes into play, and I don't think about it a lot, because uh, it usually is kind of overlooked, and you don't... I feel like it's not something that's, like, hugely reliant, but apparently with certain plants it is. And that's temperature. Because apparently with spinach, if it's warm enough, it'll start trying to reproduce. And this ruins a lot of the things that you do with spinach. Like, you know, eating it, which is the main reason I grow it. Uh, but yeah, so if it's warm enough, like, say, I don't know, summer? If it's summertime... Yeah, apparently spinach will try to reproduce by having bolts. And if you don't know what that means, I mean, basically, I think, according to what I've learned, and by according, my understandings. So, my understanding is, at a point, plants will produce stalks. And if I understand it correctly, these stalks are called bolts. Because, I, I don't know, uh, the only thing that comes to mind is, like, uh, arrows? That has nothing to do with this. I guess there's a definition. Maybe I can, like, edit something if I can't figure it out. I guess it's irrelevant. But, yeah, apparently plants, they have stalks. Uh, it, ha it happens with lettuce. Uh, it happens with spinach. And these stalks basically produce flowers and what have you. And those flowers obviously produce seeds. And that's how a plant reproduces. And that's something I learned recently. And spinach is not that different from that because it's in the same category. And uh, apparently that's what my spinach is doing. And I was super confused about why it does this or why it's doing this. Because, you know, the, plant the leaves are looking a little different. Um, I haven't really eaten a lot of them because I'm... I was, like, under the mindset that, okay, naturally they gotta develop a little bit more. Uh, something odd is going on, but I'm not really too worried about it, because I'm still growing the plant, the plant is still growing, and apparently it's gone tall enough that it started kind of, uh, bending over and leaning, so I had to get it, like, some sort of bamboo pole to just have it, like, tethered and, uh, support. It needs support. That, that is what I'm trying to say. It needed some support. I got it some support. So, my spinach is just kind of, it, it, it's producing stalks, and that's not something normally it does, because it's kind of like, you know, the leafy greens where, uh, you know, much like lettuce, it just kind of produces leaves, and then it's good to go from there on out, and it has a, kind of a base stalk, but it doesn't really do much with that. 
it's irrelevant. Point is, uh, yeah, my spin is just trying to reproduce, and I did not know that's how it reproduces, and I learned that, and so, uh, now I'm kind of like, well, I don't know if I can really eat it, or I could, but it probably wouldn't be very appetizing, and I don't think the leaves are gonna develop much more so that, you know, I can really do much with it, so, uh, I guess I'll just let this play out, and I'll have seeds for next year, or something like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with my spinach as of now. Uh, maybe I'll try to plant some later on in, like, early fall, so I'll have some spinach. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm just going with what I got going on here. So, uh, that, that's what I choose to believe, and that's what I'm going to do. Other than that, I mean, uh, there hasn't really been a whole lot in terms of development. I mean, I guess I could show you some pictures, but I'm not going to do that this week because uh, I'm not feeling it. And also, even though there may have been some growth, uh, some improvements from the last pictures I, I, I put up, I don't really feel like cropping some pictures, like some oddly crop pictures, just, just to prove a point because, I don't know, it's more work than it needs to. Granted, I could take better pictures and I wouldn't have to do that, but, you know, I digress. It's not important. No one really cares. Uh, other than that, you know, I guess the only other thing I can say is uh, my tomato plant's actually producing tomatoes, and that's pretty cool. I'll have to get a picture of that next week or something like that whenever I do another rambling video. I'm stumbling over my own words. Apparently I'm getting tongue-tied. It happens when I speak for too long. Uh, but yeah, that, there's really not a whole lot to talk about in terms of gardening right now. My plants are growing. I'm happy. Uh, and yeah. Oh, wait, wait. There is something I can talk about in terms of gardening. Uh, I find that... My cilantro is quite odorous in terms of it has a very delightful smell to it. It smells like cilantro. And every time I do anything with it, like, I don't know, snip some leaves, apparently that scent lingers onto my hands. So whenever I have to do anything with my cilantro, my hands smell like cilantro. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does throw me off because I, I keep smelling cilantro and I can't figure out why. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I had to... I had to print some cilantro. Also, I got a little experiment going. Because, you see, I have two cilantro plants. Uh, one is trying... They're both trying to reproduce, and that, much like spinach, it ruins the flavor when they start flowering. So, uh, I decided with one of them, I'm probably just gonna let them do that. The other one, I'm going to keep trying to, like whack the buds I'm gonna I'm gonna slash the buds so that it doesn't flower and see if that kills the plant if it doesn't then I guess I have a way to make sure that cilantro does not like actually flower and I keep getting more cilantro off of it uh, but if it does die I mean I guess I know that uh, that is kind of a death sentence if you're trying to like maintain a source of cilantro and it decides it wants to reproduce That'll be unfortunate. But I'll know. I, I, I have no idea. It, there's only one way to find out. And I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out. All y'all are my witness for that. So yeah, that, that's my gardening in a nutshell. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, next time, I will show pictures. I'll show pictures of what I got going on. You guys can, you guys can see for yourself. So outside that... Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than I got my window open, so if you're hearing random sounds, like, people, dogs, crows, oh man, the neighbor's dog is out, so you might be hearing that a little bit. I apologize, there's not really a whole lot I can do, but maybe I can close my window, and that would be a smarter idea. There we go. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe that'll muffle the sound a little bit, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, my neighbor came home, that's why the dog over there is going ballistic, being like, M Master, or something like that. I don't really know. They're, they're just kind of goofing around outside. I'm fine with that. Neighbors are neighbors. I don't really have any issues with my neighbors. We kind of keep to ourselves. I'm an introvert shut-in, so, you know, it's like, what can I say? I don't really interact with them. But they seem to be happy and wave to me all the time, so who am I to speak? Uh, but yeah, you know, there's really not a whole lot to say other than that. Um, I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm, 
you know, me being the introvert that I am, I don't really make a whole lot of friends. But then again, apparently, they all seem to take notice whenever something happens to me, especially on my book face, because I don't update a lot. I mean, yeah, there's things that I have to say, but on the other hand, man... Jesus Christ, everyone's going ballistic over, like, what I did, what happened this morning. What did Doppel me do? And I'm just looking, I'm just looking on my phone while this is going on, and it's like, man, what sort of debuckle is this? Everyone is basically just, like, taking notice. It's weirding me out. I mean, again, introvert, also a little bit of a shut-in, I don't know, but is, like, the equivalent saying I'm a neat? I mean, that's a, that's a thing in Japan, right? That's a term. Like, Hikikomori and Neat and, like, whatever. Uh, oh, man, am I gonna have to look this up? Man, Gildo, post some definitions. I had to post the thing about the bolt, if I remember. And I had to post those two other definitions according to the Google search engine. So, if it's accurate or inaccurate, you can blame Google for that. I'm just getting my info from the search engine. Also, if I forget to post any of this, I guess... I failed. It's one giant fail. I can't do the annotations because, I don't know, YouTube got rid of those things in May, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I, I was not really saddened by that. I know a lot of, I know that, like, a lot of people were complaining about that a while ago, but, um, I, I guess it is what it is. I started doing, like, the end segments and cards and stuff like that, so I, I'm fine with it, you know. I don't really worry about it. The only issue is that if I had to make any last minute edits and I forget to do that in the thing that you're seeing here, you know, it's like, uh, I guess I have to put it in the description. There's no other way I can do anything about that, you know, so if I forgot to post it on screen, which would be the most convenient and everyone could see it right there, all nice and pretty, I guess it's in the description because I'm a dumbass and I forgot to do it, but hey, it's okay, I live with myself being a dumbass, I am a dumbass and I'm fine with that because it's an excuse for me to act like it, which is terrible, you should never do that, you should never say something just so it gives you an excuse to get away with things. Because uh, we all have our flaws, and we're all at fault in something along those lines. And uh, Gilm is not the best at giving these kinds of speeches, but at the same time, I accept my own responsibility on my own stup stupidity and stuff like that. And uh, I apologize in advance if I may have offended anyone. Because, uh, you know, being a white male with a penis and straight a straight white male with his penis um i am the most privileged and at fault all the time or something along those lines uh i don't know anything is really what i'm saying uh all my experiences everything that i've done pointless i i am the most privileged individual majority of uh of life and everyone dictates that uh i have no rights or I should have no rights, because what do I know? I only live in a white suburban neighborhood where, you know, like, uh, things, stuff. America, oh yeah, I'm American. I'm a majority or something. A stupid, stupid white male, stupid. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I, I'm just saying, I understand it. I, I get it. Let me just take a sip of ice water, because, you know, it's summer and I'm fat, so... Uh, naturally, I get I get hot and I sweat all the time. Mm. Which, by the way, ice water—it's fantastic. I got a, I got a, I got those uh, gallon jugs of ice water, and I throw them into the freezer every day because, uh, you know, I like I like water. I like ice water, and uh, when I go to work, I need to survive. And work is way too hot considering where I work, and it's not very well well ventilated i uh i find freezing your water and taking that in creates a lot of survivability so uh for summertime i like to throw some gallon jugs of water into the freezer and it's great for ice water it's fantastic speaking of work i got a co-worker who's never seen office space which let me tell you if you haven't seen that movie highly recommend it it's from the creator of Beavis and Butthead, Mike Judge. Great guy, funny, love it. He's hilarious. There's some memes on the YouTubes that you could probably look up. Uh, ma mainly like, can I, 
I believe you have my stapler. Or maybe I should actually try to do the voice. Uh, Gildan attempts to botch her Melton's voice. I believe you have my stapler. Uh, yeah, that, that was grade A, 10 out of 10. Never do it again. Uh, but no, seriously, I, uh, I don't... I own a couple movies. I'm surprised how many movies I have because uh, I, I don't know where they all come from. And for some reason, I do have some. And uh, Office Space is one of the movies I have. Uh, and uh, I really like it. I think it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Uh, especially as an adult. There's, there's a lot of great things from it. And uh, if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. If you have seen it, well, I mean, come on, man. Let's talk about it. It's, it's funny, right? Uh, you, you can be my witness and say how funny it is. Or if you don't like it, you know, uh, why don't you like it? I'm a little confused. I think it's funny, but I'm also uh, willing to accept that, you know, it might not be your cup of tea. And maybe that's your reason. Or if there's another reason, I'm, I'm curious. Why don't you like it? Uh... I'm not a huge fan of Beavis and Butthead, to be honest. I get that, like, that whole thing is, like, you know, teenage comedy, and when when you're, like, a teenager, you like stupid things. I like stupid things. I liked stupid things when I was a teenager. I found them much more enjoyable as a teenager, and I have since then kind of grown out of them, because, you know, when you're an adult, you, I don't know. I want to say your mind matures, but honestly, I think your tastes just change. And uh, as such... Like, my tastes have changed when I was a teenager. I don't find joy out of some things that I used to. I feel like anime is kind of in that category. Granted, that's not to say I don't like anime anymore. I do. I dig anime. I will I will hunt down some series just to see what's good and what is enjoyable. And uh, I, I still can get enjoyment out of watching anime. But I feel like as a teenager, I was like much more into it and just kind of like actively trying to seek out a series so I could watch it and be like, oh yeah, yeah, it's all good. Nowadays, I'm a little more selective. That, that's really all I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm a bit more selective. Not really, like, super trying to go out of my way to find anything, but if someone suggests something, I'm, I'm, it'll bring to light and create a sense of curiosity for me to go actually explore what is there and what's going on and things and stuff. And my god... I don't know what else to say about this. So I'm gonna move on to a different subject and talk about Transformers. Cause uh, it's out of the blue and I feel like Transformers are a fantastic thing. And my favorite one was Starscream. In fact, I like the Decepticons. I don't care who says that the Autobots were the best. Yeah, they were the heroes and they were the good guys. And uh, you better believe if I had to choose between the Decepticons or the are the Autobots to ally with. I, I would choose the Autobots 100% of the time. That said, toy-wise, the Decepticons were always the best because, you know, they were always, like, geared towards war and combat and stuff like that. that that's what they did. Sure, the Autobots could always, like, you know, rival them and uh, usually, like, keep up with whatever the Decepticons would throw their way and maybe there was an episode where the Decepticons had an advantage but the next episode you know the Autobots would always have something to rival with them uh I did not grow up with the original Transformers series though I I grew up with like several different reiterations of it uh I remember Beast Wars was probably my first real exposure to it mainly the toys but I did try to watch the series whenever I got the chance to uh Starscream was was a good guy. He was like a Velociraptor in that one. I think he, uh, I think he betrayed whatever the the Decepticons were. I don't. They weren't the Decepticons though. There was there. It was weird. Like the Decepticons and the Autobots, they were like changed to something more uh, animalistic. Like I don't know. Maybe it was like the Predacons and the mammal something i think the autobots were mam like something related to mammals i don't remember i just remember tr like beast wars was like the best because uh me being the animal enthusiast i am you know anything related to animals and transforming robots was the shit it was the greatest thing ever and why can't they bring it back also i remember the original transformers had it like you know dinosaurs and dinosaur robots i can't remember what they are god help me <laughs> that's me lamenting that i don't know what i should know and i call myself a nerd i should be ashamed that dog has the right idea boiled in tar covered in feathers you're right dog that's right. 
They know. I don't know if you can pick up on that. I'm pretty sure you can because this mic is excellent on picking up on everything. And you figure the most simplest of details should not be picked up here. But apparently, that's loud enough. That's loud enough. Uh, also, cat. Why is there a random cat? Man. What well, I was talking about Autobots. Autobots and Transformers. and oh, You know what? Screw it. I'm going I'm to leave off here. You guys have a fantastic day. My mind is starting to go south and that dog is loud.